What's going down, folks? It's your boy C23 back on the sticks once again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video for you guys. And as you can already tell, this year's already gotten off to a good start. We've already won our first two games to start the season. Do we have what it takes to make it three in a row? Let's find out. Now, my first drive of the game, I come out and go play action and just dump it off to a wide open Calvin Johnson for a pretty solid pickup there. Just trying to ease into the game, nothing special. Next play, hand it off to Lacey, who just runs up the gut and gets a first down. So it's the first and 10, I take the snap under center, hit Julio Jones in stride on the slant play, and on second and one, I give it to Lacey again, who picks up the first down. So this drive is moving, folks. I come out, and I'm establishing rhythm pretty early here, continuing to mix up the run and the pass, trying to keep my opponent off guard. And whenever you get in rhythm like this, it just seems like everything opens up and just works. On this play action pass, I was able to hit Julio on the deep crossing route, that route is usually never open for me when I play Mutt. So the big gainer by Julio ends up setting up Lacey for an easy touchdown run. Now my opponent's next drive, he has a pretty solid start as well in this one, folks. And one thing I noticed pretty early on in this one is that he loves the no huddle. I can't stand it when guys just stay in the no huddle the entire quarter and force you to call a timeout. It's the most annoying thing in the world. But if that's my opponent's play style, it's up to me to adjust. And I think that I ended up doing an okay job with it overall. And what I mean by that is I keep them dinking and dunking, slowly and methodically moving the ball up the field. I should have got a pick in that situation right there, but they didn't give it to me. Bringing up a second and 10, he hands the ball off and goes just about nowhere with it. I think he's actually using Doug Martin as his running back. I've never played anybody that uses Doug Martin as their back, but, but hey, that's on him. So on third and seven, he drops back and he hits his back in the flat who runs out of bounds with it, bringing up a fourth and five. So I'm like, okay, if I can get him off the field in this situation, we'll be good, right? Not exactly. We do force him to turn the ball over on downs, but after three quick incompletions, we give him the ball right back. And he's just about in business where he was a second ago on the last drive. So bringing up a second and eight situation with 2.49 to go, he's rushing everybody back to the line yet again. I guess he sees something, hands it off to Doug Martin, who just about goes nowhere, runs parallel with the line of scrimmage. And we're rushing people back to the line of scrimmage again. You guys see what I'm talking about. I'm not sure what was different in the last play. Maybe he sees something else. So third and nine, Walter Payton takes the snap and shotgun, has all day back there, but gets sacked by Wilkerson. Look at the play by Wilkerson. He just hurdles the left tackle and ends up making the sack in the backfield. What a huge play. So I'm feeling pretty good about things right now. I got him in a fourth and forever, yet he still rushes everybody back to the line. Fourth and 18, so I'm thinking, okay, he's probably going to force something that's not there and throw a pick or throw it short and I'll come up and make the tackle. So he drops back and he lets the deep ball go. It's perfectly covered, but somehow his guy makes the catch. So I don't... Yeah, folks, I don't I don't know about that one. So we're tied seven to seven. I take the snap and I'm immediately put under pressure. Good thing I pressed the pass button right as contact was made because I could have fumbled that one up. So on second and 10, I'm looking downfield and I hit Calvin Johnson. He picks up the first and runs out of bounds. So on first and 10, I go play action and I just dial up the deep ball. You already know Alshon is wide open in between two DBs. We'll take that easy score. Let's go 14-7. My opponent's next drive, he throws it right to Luke Kuechly. Now, normally I'd celebrate that a little bit more in my commentary, but check out what I do on my very next play. I just predetermined before the snap that that receiver was going to be open, and I just threw it without looking, and I paid the price for it, folks. Got to pay attention to your receivers and make sure they're actually open before you throw them a dang ball. Anyway, we're tied 14-14. Looking to capitalize on the field position, I hit Julio Jones with the slant, moving the chains. We're inside the 20, I hand off to Lacey, and Lacey just runs over a dude. Oh my goodness, he's just still on his back after the play is over. So next play, I come back and go play action, hit my tight end in the flat, and he makes a guy miss, but ultimately goes nowhere. And this is where things kind of stall for me, folks. Inside the red zone, looking to punch it in. Oh, so close, but yet so far, I come out and go third and three shotgun. Try to go wide out screen, but he has that covered, so it forces me to three. I hate settling for three, especially when I'm that close to a touchdown. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us as we're this late in the game. He hands it off to Martin for a nice gain on the run. Again, Martin gets the run, has a blocker in front of him, but fumbles the ball, but they recover it. A fumble recovery there would have been a game changer, folks. So his next play, he has tons of time back there, but has no one open and just gets rid of it. Bringing up a second and 10, he's in the shotgun, takes the snap, looking downfield, lets it go and almost throws a pick. That should have been picked off by Lewis, who's in perfect position on the play. Third and 10, 
He throws it in the coverage, but somehow his wide receiver is still able to make the play in between two defenders. So on fourth and one, he's rushing everybody back to the line. I'm expecting a run here or something short. So I bring my DBs up. He snaps the ball and look at the block shed by Mean Joe Green. Ugh, that was nasty. So after taking over on downs, I just hand the ball off to Lacey just to milk the clock. But look what happens on second down. I hand the ball off to Lacey and he gets loose, breaking off a 60 yard touchdown untouched in walk-off fashion that's pretty much telling the fans thank you for coming and drive home safe because this one is over my opponent's in desperation mode right here so he just throws it up for grabs graham comes down with the pick and that is your ball game ladies and gentlemen we end up capturing the w 24 to 14 we came out here and handled our business and ultimately we got our third straight win of the season so will we be able to get four in a row you guys are gonna have to tune into the next video that's all the time I got in this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one real soon.